Yes. That's my baby girl. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Megan with You Go To Be Kitty. Today we are in the barn. Um, last night we had a pretty big rainstorm and Cedar, our last goat to give birth, is getting really close. So we brought her inside and this morning we came down and she is definitely in labor. So she's in this stall behind me. Hello, Cedar. Yeah. This is her first time being a mama. Um, we are actually down here to milk. So it's uh, about eight in the morning. Uh, we're gonna milk the other goats and keep an eye on her. But she, hopefully she will be doing great. Alrighty, so we have the dog trying to be really good about the cat. The cat is always asserting its dominance. We have one goat, very much in labor and pushing. And we have two awesome young ladies milking goats, even though they would rather be watching baby come too. And then me on call in case Miss Cedar needs any help. I think she's gonna do just fine. Are you gonna do a good job? Hello, mama. Good girl. So this is our bucket of chickens. <laughs> They're a week old or two weeks old. I think just one. We go. We also have two little turkeys. No. Getting ready to get out to the brooder. It's amazing how fast they grow, but they're not ready to go out yet. Oh, she's pushing again. Hmm. I see a sack. Oh, yes, like it's noticeably different than it just was? Oh, yes. I see a sack. Okay, okay. Calm, gentle sleep, right there, girls. Okay, yes, if you could calmly tell me what you see, okay. and if it changes, our progress is what's really important. Yeah, there's definitely a progress, but... Okay, cool. So that's different than it was. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You still need to know the time. Oh, oh. the sack's getting bigger. Yeah. Eight thirty nine. Mom, I see a white spot in it. Yeah, it's a hoof. It's a hoof. Oh, it might be upside down. Uh, you might want to, it's alive, it's moving, yeah. but it might, I think it's upside down. Yeah. She took her, I think those are two feet. Yeah, that is so, two feet, but. Yeah, so those white. Why is it this I think those are two feet. I think we're good, and it's only been a couple of minutes. She seems to be making some air. I think I saw a nose. I think that's yeah. 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 They do look funny when they're all yeah. smushed up. Come on. I just want to check where that second foot is and help it with help it with the sugar. Okay. Wrong 
direction. Down this way. That's a big baby. This is Give her a minute. Give her a minute. Just one piece. You have two. Mr. Baby. Why don't you want to look at? How fascinating that it is black. I know. Because Cedar and Elron have almost zero. Elron has zero. She has some. She barely has a stripe on her neck. On her yeah. And a little bit on back her back. back. Okay. On her back. Yeah. Mom. Yes. Yeah, that's my baby. <laughs> because I. Um. Mom, what should you name it? I have no idea. All right, Mama had one big baby. I think it's a doling. I'm gonna double check, but. Mama's actually doing a great job. Does she have another? I don't know. It's gonna... The baby looks good. Mama's doing great. And the, the other mamas out here seem to know something's going on. Tansy still hasn't been milked, which needs to happen. But we had a baby. Cedar is doing awesome, and baby is totally up and moving. Doing great. All righty, so Cedar had her baby. We finally got Tansy milked and I got the milk back up to the house. So now I'm walking back down. I have warm water and pain meds. I'm gonna make sure Cedar gets some of those. But the baby is doing great. She is up. It is a doling. She is super cute. And uh, we're gonna go check on her. All right. So she's letting the baby nurse. She, <clears throat> she did pick up her leg. She wasn't quite sure what was going on, but she let me help. She did great. Baby's gotten on a couple of times. I'll have to make sure that she gets on the other side. <laughs> you are so camera friendly. Sweet girl. She is being an excellent mama. And baby is doing great. So we're waiting on her to pass her placenta. And just make sure baby is all good to go. But Cedar's doing a great job. Okay. Yes, you can pet the baby go. Oh, so bad. Yeah. <laughs> you can turn her and put her back toward your mama. Mom. She's so cute. Hello, little fun. Mama's over there. Oh, go okay, get Mama. Mama's that way. Mama's that way. Mommy. Yeah. Oh, don't fall in the bucket. We'll make sure we put that up. Is it fine for the baby to drink that? No, the baby just needs milk, but I won't, I won't let the baby get any. What else we got? Mommy, can we She's so. <laughs> She's cute, isn't she? Yeah. That's my baby. That's your baby, huh? Yeah. Oh, she's got like brown on her by her eye too. She's got brown on her face. <gasps> What's that all about? <laughs> Don't look at it. What is she doing? Oh. Hey. 
Mom. She's been a good girl. She doesn't chase the cat, but the cat will chase her off. She runs away from the cat as if she, she was being naughty. But I haven't noticed her chase the cat or go after the cat in a long time. She just, the cat's radius is small, so if she gets anywhere near him, he attacks her. <laughs> She's doing a good job, though. So it's a little bit later in the afternoon. I went and checked on Cedar, and she has passed her placenta. She's doing great. Baby's doing great. Um, and we had a new problem pop up. Elrond, our buck, uh, kept getting out of his fence. And since Cedar has now given birth, and she is up in the barn, uh, I decided that I could bring the boys back in with our ladies. So I have a chair, I have the dog, and we are just hanging out here uh, with the goats and just giving them a chance to get used to each other again, making sure that Elrond and Mr. Foxy do not uh, hurt the babies. But I think they'll be fine. I'm just hanging out here. It's beautiful weather today. Uh, it's cloudy and cool. And yeah, the sheep are resting happily. I'll show you them. Look at all of them. Chewing on their cud, hanging out. They're looking great. So, and it's the time of year where we have grass aplenty. Looks like we actually need to maybe come mow this. This is probably verging on a little too tall. You can see the goats, it's pretty tall on them. So it's been a couple of days. We're down here with mama. Oh, is she letting baby nurse? Oh, that's good. It's one of the first like wild nursings, but we decided to let Cedar and her baby out into this barn pasture while we're milking. So we're down here and just giving River a chance to meet the baby. She has been really, really good with the babies. I will say she's probably been a little too excited. So I've been trying to help keep her toned down a little bit, but she's been doing really well. Cedar is a little irritated by her. Cedar is being such a good mama. Normally when I let the mamas out, they just like run for the grass. And Cedar is just worried about her baby. She's being a good girl. What a good mama. Cedar probably wins the award for being the most attentive mom we have, even as a first timer. The baby is adorable. And <laughs> she just started to bounce around. She was born Monday, and this is Wednesday evening. Hello, Cedar. You are so friendly. Hello, little one. So the dog has been sleeping in the barn here. That's why the shelter is here and the big bowl of water. River has been in the barn to protect our meat chickens. We had a raccoon come in and get one of the guineas and a couple of our laying hens. So she's been in here and that's been working really well. So Cedar and her baby are hanging out in the stall um, while they're bonding and just making sure that everybody's all good. And then we'll let them out. So in the mornings and the evenings, we're letting them out on the pasture, but Cedar is being really cute. She's not even like going out there. Ooh, maybe she will now. We have the cart because we have some chores to do. I'm trying to let them out on the grass, but Cedar is paying so much attention to her baby, she's not even going out there. All right, we got them out. We just pulled Cedar and her baby out. They're so cute. The grass is actually super long in here. We'll need to mow it soon. 